If you're finding there are challenges in getting the optimum sound, here are a few tips that will help you. It's very important that the fetish is in the right position. It may have moved during shipping or if you had it in a bag. Ideally, you want the fetish center it left to right over the sound hole. The ideal position in terms of putting it in front of the sound hole itself is right at the edge of the sound hole or just a little bit back, just like this. You don't want the fetish over the sound hole, nor do you want the fetish to be in back of the sound hole too far. The ideal position is to have the fetish be right at the edge and tied down very tight. We do have a video that teaches you how to untie and tie your fetish. So please do look at that because it's good to know your flute and be able to do it, take, learn about it inside and out. If the flute stops playing on you all of a sudden, good chance it's moisture buildup, especially when you're first starting to play. Your mouth muscles are not used to it, so you're going to create more saliva in your mouth and the breath condenses inside the flute, creating moisture, and then the moisture goes in underneath the fetish, clogging it so that you cannot play any longer or it, it disrupts the play sound. The best way to do that is put your finger over the rectangular hole so it doesn't squeak, blow hard into it. And you'll see moisture droplets come out. Also shake it out and you can go back to playing. The more you play, your mus the muscles in your mouth will get used to it, the less and the more infrequent the moisture buildup will be. It's important to have the right finger placement as well. Instead of using the tips of your fingers, use the flat part of your finger, the meaty part of your finger to close all the holes. Also pay, stay real focused that consciously you can feel the hole as it's being closed. The biggest challenges are the last two holes so that you get a really nice even sound. If it, the holes are not closed, it's squeaky. If the holes are closed, nice solid sound. The amount of breath that you put in the flute really has a huge impact on it. There's a tendency sometimes to blow too hard only because we feel like we have to blow hard to get a good sound. And it, blowing too hard is gonna make it sound very breathy. So back off on your breath. It doesn't take a lot of breath. It's a very subtle instrument. Putting in not enough air will make it kind of wispy and flat sounding. Do both, blow too hard, blow too little, and you'll get a real sense of what a nice sound will be. Nice even tone will get you a really nice, wonderful voice. If the flute stops playing altogether, there's a good chance there may be some obstruction. It's underneath the fetish or in the, sound, in the uh, uh, air chamber. Untie the fetish, remove the fetish, look inside, Obviously, if there's something in there, remove it and clean it out a little bit. As I mentioned earlier, we do have a video that teaches you how to untie and tie the fetish. It's very simple and it really is a good thing for you to learn to really get to know the instrument inside and out.